got him. Giant crappie. Giant dude. <laughs> oh my god, if that don't tell you something. I, I'm gonna try to put it in the video. I have went through six colors. Stick on crappy man green. God. Oh man. That is un freaking real. It just don't get no better than crappy man green. Oh, that's about a pound and a half. Or, I won't say it's the biggest of the day, but first one of this video. We'll check him real quick though. I actually brought scale with me today. Because I always be just throwing out random numbers. After I am recording, yeah. <laughs> Now, if I can get this scale, there we go. All right. I'll say he buy, I don't know, pound, pound and quarter probably. Nice fish though. God, it took me forever to get one to bite. I'm just dropping him. Quick, boy. Well, he's bigger than I thought. I can get him to stay on here long enough. Oh, scale's messed up. Zero it. There we go. Pound. Pound 31. Nice fish. Nice fish. Finally got him to react. Man, it took a while though. God. I was saying this. I, I tried a monkey milk, I tried a toad, beaver, I tried the brown minna, I tried a natural color minna, <laughs> and I was like, man, let me just go to tried and true, threw on this crappy man green minnow with a custom chrome painted head, and he wanted it. <laughs> Oh, now we gotta find the school again. There's some really big ones in the school. Like, good, good fish. So I'm hoping I found what they want and I can actually get a couple of them. We're fishing in 22 foot of water. Water temperature is 57 degrees. I'm, I'm trying to let it warm up just a little bit. But I'm, all of these fish are just in this creek channel. There's no brush pile. There's no nothing. It's just a school of fish. As y'all can see right here, this is a school I'm fishing. I mean, every one of these kind of big blobs is the same size I just caught. So honestly, if I found the right color, this could be lights out for them. But it could have just been one. Nah, we got one following it. I think we found the right color. Because before, they wasn't doing nothing. So that's freaking crazy, man. Go through your whole tackle box. You should have just used a tried and true crappy man green. <laughs> I should have known better. I couldn't tell you what it is about this color. So let's see if we can get one to react to it real quick. I want to catch one of these big ones. A good two pounder, that'd be nice today. That one right there looks about two pounds. Lost my jig. The wind ain't blowing pretty much at all today, which makes it easier to get on these fish. But I just believe they bite better when the dang wind's blowing a little bit. But it helps me out because I can't use my motor right now until I get a part for it. So we just out here trolling, trolling this little creek channel. I found these fish. So I mean, they're reacting to it. I mean, some fish just ain't gonna bite. You just have to, you know, get over that, I guess. Because it don't matter what you do, them jokers just ain't gonna bite. 
But if I can get a couple of these pound and a quarters to bite, that's going to be good for lays. Hey, that's a pretty big one right there. See if he reacts to it a little bit. Oh, he coming up to sniff it. Know if he gonna get it though. Nah, the school's just moving. I said most of the time, like fishing for a school of open water fish, man, they can be so picky. Now, if you can find one by itself. Those are about the easiest ones to catch. You can still get some of these to react to it. Like I said, I mean, that one just took forever. I had to go through so many jigs. <laughs> That's what it takes sometimes. I mean, I'm glad I did it because that was a good fish. Ain't as good as the ones I'm seeing on here. But I mean, that's fishing. You're going to see some big ones. They ain't going to freaking bite. But what I'm using today, guys, I got a 1 16th ounce split shot. A 132 custom painted crappy man jig. Crappy man green. A 13 foot ACC with the super grip on it. And I got a shrimp reel. I love my shrimp reel. Love it. Because I'm able to, like, especially with Alaska, I'm able to give out line when I need to. And once I, if I'm fishing something like structure or something and I finally get a bite, I can zone that puppy in. Oh, man. Oh, he got off. Godly. That was a good one. Freaking burned my finger. Uh, I'm over here talking about the shrimp reel and <laughs> dang that was a good one he freaking clobbered it let me set my drag a little bit see I like to keep my drag see that's full tight I like to get about two two clicks there we go ah I hate losing the fish because of poor mistakes like that. But like I was saying, it's fishing. We ready to go now. They want to bite it, they coming in the boat. All right, we are in there on them. Ain't on no really big ones right now. I believe we got, we got about nine crappy so far today. I mean, I've just been trolling around as y'all seen in the last video, I was fishing the bridge. You know, I left them biting. I know I can go back to the bridge and catch them. It's just I want to do something different. I'm trying to learn my scope as good as I can about catching these open water fish because honestly, it is just unreal fun. You know, I, I try to show as many techniques on my channel as I can about how to catch fish and this is just honestly one of the funnest ways to catch them if you do have live scope now if you don't i mean i can't really do nothing for you there man that is a freaking toad right there god almighty y'all see how, how these bottom dots are just bigger than the top ones on top i mean if that's a crappy that's a freaking toad it's all about getting them to react we got two bites on Crappy Man Green, so I, I mean, I'm confident in the color. Man. I thought he was going to take it. He's on it. He just turned on it. Come on, buddy. Dang, that's a nice fish right there. Take it, man. Oh, he had it. No. No, 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 no. Shoot, guys. Crappy man green. We got to change the jig now. Well, we could probably rethread it. I don't like changing jigs. It's not, I mean, I own the company. Well, you know, I'm a co-owner of the company, so 
it's not like i don't have a box full of these things i just believe once you get a little fish scent on it they bite it better bend that hook a little bit back there we go all right we're ready for the tango again all right so we caught that one out of the school out here i believe so i'm gonna come back to oh we got a little breeze coming right now too it's getting spicy all right i didn't expect that fish to be as big as he was but i am definitely not one to complain about a pound 60 fish All right, Steven, let's not get hung in the brush. <laughs> Blow out the spot again. So I've got all the fish pretty much at 15 foot away from the boat right now. That's exactly where I want them with a 13 foot pole. There he is right there. Oh, just like that, in the boat. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Another nice one. Skeeter back in there. They getting fired up now. Drop straight back on their heads. Come on, buddy. I mean, sometimes it takes a while to figure out what the fish want. You know, like I said at the beginning of the video, I went through so many colors just to get them to react. We've got one checking it out right now. But they, I mean, if I throw it in there, they're not even turning on it to sniff it or anything. In my opinion, I just change. I mean, sometimes you could probably go through your whole tackle box and some of them fish ain't going to turn on it. But you never know, so it's, it's kind of one of them processes, I guess. Now, the big question is, would scent make this any easier? And I honestly could not answer that. Oh, he bumped it. God almighty. That, that was a good one. It's a pretty big blob. My split shot keeps sliding down. fix that problem oh that's a big old blob right there it's kind of near the boat though where'd he go there he is all right so he's like right up under the boot and we're right on his face oh he turned he turned got him <laughs> freaking giant oh my god get in here dude <laughs> <laughs> got to love it guys you have got to love it <laughs> nice one let's, let's go ahead and get a weight on him i don't know if he's bigger than the other one but we'll see i'm just gonna put the hook where i caught him at quit calm down buddy I think he's a pound, pound 40, one, 141. Another nice quality fish. <laughs> I told y'all he's right up under the boat. Well, our jig's still good. I'll bend that hook again. I don't mind it pouring out a little bit, but I don't want it too much. If you're thinking the hook sucks, it's, it's honestly because of the braid. Like, I mean, I pretty much got this thing almost locked down. Like, when I hit them, it's going to bend it, whether you like it or not, if you get a good fish. But that one was alone, and as soon as that jig got in his strike zone, he turned on it, and that was game over.
There he is. Alright guys, as this boat passes by, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe down below. <clears throat> and I'm going to catch y'all, hopefully on the live stream I'm about to start up. So, another nice pound and a half. We putting some toads in the boat today guys.